hunters! As you may remember, about three-ish years ago, I embarked on a quest to hunt for Bigfoot. Yes, I tried to find him so that way I could become a millionaire, maybe like, I don't know, be known for something at least. And we found him, but we didn't catch him. And to answer your uh, pressing question, no, I'm not going after him again. This time, I'm going after him a little bit of an easier target, but still a nefarious one nonetheless. We're going to search for the infamous Crow! Yeah, that's right. I'm going after I'm going after a bird. Now, uh, these crows, they've been giving me grief. They've been stealing my food. So, we're going to teach them a lesson. You don't steal from me and get away with it. I've gathered some familiar tools today so that way we can go find them, hunt them down, and make them serve their time for stealing. It's time to put on my garb. It'll work just as well for the crow. Ah, there we go. Now then, we have to get the proper weaponry. And for that, we're going to have to take a little trip to the old armory. Welcome to the armory. Right now we've only got uh, one little firearm in stock, but it'll do the trick just fine. This is a... Uh, what is this? This is a Daisy Powerline 880... Uh, it's 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 a BB gun. Got to make sure that she's all all loaded. So that way uh, we have plenty of, of shots. You know, I don't miss, but yeah, we're fine. Uh, so uh, yeah, don't try this at home unless you're uh, pretty cool like me. This hunt isn't going to be as simple as the Bigfoot one. We're gonna to have to do a little traveling. So for that, I've prepared a little surprise today. Behold, a custom made fuel injection Yamaha. But around most cities, they like to call this the swag. Known to carry women and all sorts of game. It will do just the trick for my purposes today. Now, uh, these crows, even though they do come into populated areas quite often, they don't live there. They live out in the, in the boonies, the boondocks, if you will. But like people with uh, the, not an income that can't really afford a house in the suburbs, so they go way, way out into the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's kind of a, kind of a, sad. We've made it to the place where they live and breed and everything else. It looks just as garbage as you'd expect it to and that's okay. Actually, I think I see a little little path over here. We might just be in luck today. I bet you that they're little, uh, they're double wide. I bet that's where it is, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm only 99, and usually whenever I'm over 90% sure on something, I'm never wrong. Now the first thing, first and foremost, always make sure that you're ready to, to kill on sight, crow or otherwise, because out here, anything can get you. It's very dangerous. I suggest a good four to five pumps. That's usually enough to kill up to a baby rhinoceros, but, you shouldn't have to deal with anything that ferocious out here. Usually it's just, you know, a snake, or two, or three, fifty. Now then, that your weapon is ready, make sure to lay it facing you. You always want it to be like, almost to hitting you. People have questioned my tactic with that for a long time, but, it just prevents anything from coming behind you, so if they're, if say, like, a Bigfoot actually decided to walk behind me, I kick the gun, it shoot, it shoot me, but it would also shoot whatever's behind me. So it's like, who really wins? No one. And that is a win in my book. It's not just as simple as showing up and, you know, sh shooting the crap out of the dang thing. You gotta, you gotta know how to coax a crow out from its hiding spot. I've researched a few calls that they do, and I think that um, 
if I can just nail the right call combo, I can get all the crows out to me. No problem whatsoever. Ah! Now that the crows have a reason to come to me, you have to ready yourself for whenever they may come. And this could take hours, days, weeks, whole time for a broken marriage. It, it's really... If you're not always ready and watching and willing to take that shot, then you're not ever, you're never going to get them. And that's the sad truth of all of this, is that not many can do it. It is a tough job, taking the life of something else in your hands. And then, the worst part is fighting the war with yourself in the meantime. Asking, why is this necessary? Why must we kill? Isn't there a better way? Couldn't we just all get along? <laughs> yeah, just, only sissies do that. If you think about that for too long, you'll start crying. Oh my god, do you see that? The Okay, whenever they do show up, it's very important to be quiet. So, just, um, hang on, give me, give me. Watch and observe how you, how, how you take them out. Patience. Patience is a, is a virtue that you need to have with this. You're going to miss sometimes. You're going to miss. And, um... You'll miss! Holy crap, it's a big one! Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, um... Whenever you get, whenever you hit one, um, normally people go and look, but um, I figured that it's, um, it's actually just better if you run away from responsibility and you don't look at it. it, it you feel better at least on the inside. All right, we, need to, we need to get out of here before the feds figure out what I did. The, coming, the feds are coming, so um, it was nice. It was nice to uh, teach you how to deal with an infestation, um, but I gotta go. If the U.S. government sees this video, um, just... It's all a joke, none of this really happened, fellas. Movie magic, you know? It, it's just fake. It's fake, but uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh god, they're right there. Bye! People just seem to think this is stupid, I'm not... <laughs>